I ever get past the first chapter. That looks like a giant grinder? Wow. I wonder if I had to fight a Jigunda robot is more convincing than the dog ate my homework. <laughs> 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 My giant battle bot is one sweet ride, as the young people say. <laughs> uh, they do say that, don't they? It's so hard to keep up as a lingo. Don't want to seem like an old fuddy daddy. <laughs> oh, for joy, here comes the pack bird armed forces. Your useless weapons are no match for my mighty grinder corn! Take them low, guys. I'll take them high. With a titanium size. Back then at the top. What? Ow, what are you? Uh, uh, stop! You're giving me a headache. Uh, now to give you one. Not exactly how I saw that going down. Uh, I could easily hurl. Now what? Time to face this big bot head on. <laughs> you are nothing but an annoying little gnat to me now. I love this show. Let's watch it again in slow-mo. Amusing destruction. But you may be more interested to see the feed from Slug Cam 34. <laughs> what? what is she doing? Why is she with him? Jealous much? I thought you got over your massive crush on Spheria after she humiliated you yet again on the Pack Pong Court last year. This can't be happening! I'll take that as a no. What did he just say to her? Why is Spiria laughing? Keep your hands off! I thought that was the plan. Uh, uh, I wasn't talking to you. Uh, proceed with the plan. Move your slimy butt so I can see what they're reading! Perhaps a bit of good old-fashioned mayhem will take the sting out of the situation, sir. There is an invasion to command. Yes, yes! But this is all going on my DVR for screaming at later. Enough! Unleash my ghost army against the powerless Pacopolis! Let's see the Lemon Menace defend the city now! Very good, sir. That's the despot I know and know. You okay, dude? Yeah, but for how long? That giant grinder knockoff doesn't seem to have any weak spots. First the pop quiz, and now this. Could today get any worse? <laughs> oh, come on! That was a rhetorical question. <laughs> I may not be able to dent that robot, but ghosts I can stop! <laughs> oh, hey, guys. Sorry about the... He meant to say, sorry about the invasion, Packums. But when Betraya says haunt... You gotta go boo. I know. Boo-hoo. Guys, between the giant unstoppable robot, the no power for the army or our PSCs, and the gazillion ghosts swooping through the city, I, I think I'm in a little over my head. Grinder! 
Do you know how to get in touch with Cersei? Right, nothing's working. Wait, then why is Grinder still functioning? Good question. Maybe if I'd got to finish reading my science book, I'd be smart enough to answer it. Too bad Cersei didn't leave some ace in the hole to help us out of this one. Wait, whoa! Okay, let's go! What is it, Grinder? What's the deal? All right, let's see what's got Grinder going. In case of intellectual emergency, open puzzle box and gobble berry. Okay, I'll bite. This is a tough puzzle. If I could get inside this box and gobble the berry, maybe I'd be smart enough to get inside this box and gobble the berry. That's a logical conundrum. Let me see if I can solve this. I see. Mm-hmm. Yes. An ingenious variation of the Linguini configuration. Mm-hmm. If I just needle this hinge a little and... Ta-da! Brain berries. An important part of any smart diet. Mm-mm. Food for thought! things. The uh, first question is, why did the EMP knock out every power source in the city, but still leave Grinder standing? <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> I didn't expect you to answer the question, Grinder. That's what the examination is for. Now let's just test those robotic reflexes, shall we? <laughs> Seems sound enough. Turn your head and, uh, cough. Your uh, heartbeat appears to be normal. If a robotic heartbeat could even be considered normal. Oh, a heartbeat. That's it. Wow. Grinder has a shielded, independent electromagnetic power source. That's why he's still running. That gives me an idea. In fact, it gives me an embarrassing, uh, embarrassment of ideas. You have no idea how many ideas I have. Ideally, I deal with one idea at a time. But, you know, I mean, the... Hack! Giant evil robot, ghost invasion, end of life as we know it. Right, sorry. I was overwhelmed with the ideas and the thinking and... Hack! Ah, uh, sorry. Right again. Grinder, follow me. Uh, there's, a uh, inventing to be done. Uh. Back off, you! Don't you touch that! Well, make up your mind! What do you want me to do? Uh, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> Destroy the roundhouse and crush my bumbling brother! Let's see, the uh, electromaniacal thermal coupling is attached to the frambulating oscillator. C can that be right? That can't be right. Aha! Uh -huh. I was right! It wasn't right! Oh, <laughs> how backwards of me. Well, back to work, Grinder. We have uh, much to do and little time in which to do it. Thank goodness your electromagnetic heart can power this equipment grinder. Our task would be, uh, uh, impossible otherwise. Is it just me? Or is Brainiac Pack kind of cute? Definitely just you. Yeah. You put that down right now, or I swear I will slime you! Oh, if you want to conquer the world right, you have to do it yourself. Betrayus, I am in control now! I, uh, give you the answer to our problems and the, uh, what I believe will be the problem for which Mr. Buttocks will have no answer. Behold the, uh, Giganto Mega Grinder Battlebot Mark and 3 carry the 8 Mark 2! Sort of like the big brother you never, uh, never had, but that you have now because I just built one for you. But how are you gonna power that if Buttocks drained all the power? With this, this giant electromagnetic heart is impervious to Dr. Buttocks' uh, power draining tricks. Now 
Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to kick some robot. via Automon are very hurtful with all the hitting and the throwing of the cars and destroying of private property. So, uh, I'm going to apply the formula. Force is mass multiplied by acceleration and uh, boot your enormous robotic patootie back to the netherworld. Oh, the lemon lummox sounds different somehow. Smarter. But never smarter than me! Let's see how smart you are after I give you the slime! Ah. Let's see, the uh, angle of deflection times the speed of slime squared in your face, as the uh, young people say. <laughs> I suppose I am one of the young people, but my advanced intellect makes me feel quite mature. Is this possible? The pack sap is outsmarting my superior brain! I don't want to boast, but uh, I have been given a big boost. Uh, smart is wise! My gray matter is greater than your gray matter! Would you just gobble me already? This outsmarting is humiliating! This is humiliating, but I can't look away. See what I mean? <clears throat> Perhaps you should observe my simpering sibling as his latest scheme collapses in crushing defeat. All right, that'll make me feel better. Wait! Now I'll never know! by Herculean efforts are proving to be successful, and I have grinders and uh, a despicable doppelganger on the... Uh, uh, my brain berry just wore off. Duh. <laughs> okay, I was outsmarting buttocks a second ago, but... Suddenly, I don't feel so smart. <gasps> Say what? You've lost your intellectual advantage. Oh, oops. Is this thing on? <laughs> Tactical error. Boy, I'll say. Oh, this was easier when I was a genius. You want to get smarter, you nasty lemon loser? Then let Professor Buttocks take you to school. Um, the angle of something times the something of something squared. Uh, so many switches and dials. <laughs> Eat slime and like it. <sighs> okay, take a breath. But Ox might know his science, but I know my city. Pacopolis is like a maze, and mazes are kind of my deal. Okay, Dr. B, it's time to go sightseeing. Spiral, silly, follow me! What? Pointing out the constellations. Oldest trick in the book, romance wise. <laughs> he just better not point out. He did! He pointed out the heart, Nebula! And now my heart is breaking! <laughs> Do you want to talk about it, sir? That's right. Let it all out. Oh, oh. Slow down, you spineless spheroid! What knucklehead laid out this for sugar the metropolis? Whoa, smooth move, Grinder. That's it. 
Buttocks' bot is big, but he's kind of clumsy. I got an idea. Brain fairy or not? We're with you, Pat. Thanks. Let's head for the mall. Hey! Not too smart sliming yourself. Catch me if you can, genius. Who thought that was a good place to put a tube? <laughs> Who taught you how to drive? Think you're smart, do you? For you, your lunch. Serve them some humble pie, guys. Oh, they cannot possibly expect to stop me with that pathetic junk. Talk over. Two ways, always underfoot and messing with my moves. Maybe I can't maneuver, but I can still speak. And there's my answer. I don't have to be a genius to beat him. I've just got to put a different spin on things. Let me give you a helping hand. But if you let her make you feel that way, you're just playing into her hands. I know, right? But like a sap, I keep trying. No matter how much it <laughs> hurts. Dr. Buttocks, once again, your plan has met with dismal, dim-witted failure. Oh, and extreme nausea. Oh. <laughs> Your supposedly superior intellect has been overshadowed by the minuscule mind of the Lemon Menace again! <laughs> Just call me smart back. <sighs> Guess we'll never know if I could have beaten Dr. B's Gigantic Bot without the Brain Berry. <laughs> no time to stress about that, bro. Right. There's still an army of rampaging ghosts to worry about. We don't have any power. I'd sure love to have my hoverboard in a working PSC. Ditto that. You've crushed me worse than this insipid automaton. The flame in my heart has flickered and faded, never to be rekindled. Rekindled? I think I just figured out how to get the power back. Thanks, Patrice. If you ask me, you're a pretty smart guy, Pack, even without a brain berry. Cersei, everything's cool. We managed okay without you. Yeah, no big. So you know, if you want, you can even extend your vacation. You don't need to twist our arms. 